Hello guys again and good day. This is our part two of our lecture which involves the equilibrium cal calculations or our problem solving in our first lecture video in our module four. Okay, now for our first problem here, first cases, there are one, two, three, four, five. Five, there are five cases that we will solve in this problem. Okay, first case is calculating the equilibrium constant when all equilibrium concentrations are known. So calculating K when <coughs> equilibrium concentrations are known. So equilibrium concentration, guys. Uh, take note that the equilibrium concentration is different to initial concentration. Okay, now let's calculate for this one. Okay. Let's calculate for that. Okay. Okay. Sabi dito sa problem, after a mixture of hydrogen and nitrogen gases in a reaction vessel is allowed to attain equilibrium at 400 degrees Celsius, it is found to contain 7.38 atmospheric pressure of hydrogen, 2.46 atm nitrogen, and 0 0.166 ammonia. From this data, calculate the constant Kp or equilibrium pressure for the reaction. So, ganun. Okay, ano bang reaction natin, guys? Uh, sa may hover process natin, di ba, anina, N2, gas plus hydrogen, gas is, nagproduce daw siya ng ammonia gas. Okay, now first dito is balance the reaction. Okay, since given naman siya anina, ito balance na. Now, gagawa tayo ng formula dito. Kp, okay, di ba, product all over reactant, and then in terms of pressure. So, pressure of ammonia, of ammonia, okay, coefficient 2, so squared all over pressure of the nitrogen times the pressure of hydrogen, coefficient 3, so ayan. And then given naman na sila, guys, okay, ano-ano ba yun? Naroon na tayo 0.166 amount ATM ammonia, 7.38 ATM H2, and 7, 2.46 ATM ito, so Substitute only the known value, 0 0.166 ATM. Okay. Is squared here. All over. Okay. Tapos N2, pressure of N2, guys. 2.46 ATM. Times the pressure of hydrogen, which is 7.38. 7.38 ATM cubed. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Now for the rule, di, di ba guys, kung nabanggit ko sa inyo, a uh, three step process lang naman yung gagawin natin kapag nagka-calculations. You did you don't need to show the step by step, okay? Just show the formula, substitute the values and calculate. Yun lang. Pero masipag kayo magsulat, eh, sige, isa-isa niyo. Pero but I highly recommend guys na three step process na lang yung gawin niyo. Formula, substitute the values. And then yung sagot. Kasi ganun lang din naman yung lalagas. Lalabas and magkaaroon tayo ng error. Pero nasa sa inyo pa rin kung paano ang gagawin ninyo. So, mga ganun lang naman. Okay. Now, the answer for our problem here. Okay. Sinecheck ko lang muna yung pag-input ko sa calculator. Okay. Is 2 point. Ang sagot is 2.78 times 10 raised to negative 5. 2.78 times 10 raised to negative 5. Sir, bakit walang ATM? Kasi nga, maka-cancel, di ba? ATM squared here. Okay, maka-cancel lang. Cancel lang yan. And supposedly, dapat meron tayong ATM to negative sa may baba. Pero hindi na siya sinasulat. So, we will drop the unit for that. And this will be our answer here. Okay, take a screenshot, guys. So, we can proceed to our next problem. Okay, for our next problem, guys, is Converting Kc or equilibrium concentration and equilibrium pressure. For Haber process, again, nitrogen is mixed, was mixed with hydrogen to form a ammonia. And supposedly, dapat kayo double-headed arrow. Kc is equal to 9.60 at 300 degrees Celsius. Calculate the Kp at this temperature. Okay, now let's calculate for this here. Yan. So how do we calculate for this? Diba meron tayong formula na dinerive kanina? Okay. Ano ba formula na yon? Kp is equals to Kc 
times RT delta N. Okay. Ano yung given natin? KC is 9.6 Sir, ano yung R? Sir, ano yung T? Yung R natin, guys, is always constant. It is a gas constant. It is 0 0.082 liter ATM, liter ATM, all over moles per Kelvin. Encounter niyan sa may general chemistry mo. Now, the temperature, guys, is always at Kelvin. Okay? Now, di ba, sa may Kelvin natin, na-discuss natin kanina, in order to convert Kelvin, just add 273.15. So, magiging kalat is 573.15 Kelvin. Now, ano yung delta N natin? Di ba? 2, 1, plus 4, 4. So, delta N is ilan? 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Now, let's substitute the known values, guys, is KT. Squals to, wait lang ah, Aha. KC times 9.60, 9.60 times 0 0.08206. Uh, we will drop the unit guys, times 573.15 Kelvin, negative 2, kasi delta N. Now let's calculate guys. Calculate na natin. And I will not use again a step-by-step -step process. Idirecta ko na siyang i-calculate. Ayan. So, 0 0.08206 times 573.15 Kelvin raised to negative 2. Ang sagot is 4.339 times 10 raised to negative 3. Now, if hindi ito nag-agree sa may sagot ninyo, Okay, uh, i-calculate ninyo, ninyo thoroughly and then uh, PM nyo o kung may pagkaamali. And I will correct that. Kasi minsan kasi guys, uh, namamali ako ng input sa calculator. That tends to pa natin. Nagkaaroon ng variation sa sagot. Kaya medyo namamali pa ako. But the method na kinaon ko sa inyo guys is gano'n lang din naman ang methods. Ang values lang nagkakaiba. So this will be our answer here. The KP, this temperature, is 4.339 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, shall we proceed on our next problem na ba? Okay. Okay, let's proceed to our next problem here. Next is... Okay. Next. Next natin is calculating the equilibrium concentration from initial and equilibrium concentration. So we are given uh, initial equilibrium concentration, initial and equilibrium concentration. So let's calculate for this one here. Okay. Sabi dito, a closed system initially containing 1.00 times 10 raised to negative 3 molar hydrogen gas and 2.00 molar of iodine at 480 degrees Celsius is allowed to reach equilibrium. And at equilibrium, the hydro hydroiodic acid concentration is 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 3 molar. Calculate a KC for the reaction taking place, which is ito. Okay, ano daw yung KC natin, guys? Diba we have this principle, guys, yung anina, diba? Okay, now wait. Ang nangyari dito, diba? From this graph here, okay, ito yung graph natin dito. Ito yung H, meron tayong I, meron tayong H, and meron tayong HI. Ang nangyari dito is nag-convert yung ka natin. Ito yung concentration ng iodine natin, papababa, and at equilibrium. This is just a hypothetical graph, guys. And then yung H2 natin is bumaba lang din, and then until equilibrium. Sa so, matalang yung HI, ay tumaas and at equilibrium. Take note guys, this is just a hypothetical graph just to illustrate what I am pointing at. So, ito lang. So, ito, so lahat natin reactions dito, okay, so lahat natin reactions na, ah, hindi ko na sa states of matter, ah, H2 as iodine, equilibrium of 2 HI. Now, we have the I, C, E. Okay. Okay, dun daw sa may initial, we have, so yung hydrogen natin is 1.0 times 10 raised to negative 3. 
Yung ayod din natin at initial is 2.0 times 10 raised to negative 3. And at initial is 0. Diba? Ito yung point na tinitignan natin dito. Ito yung point na tinitignan natin. Now at equilibrium, which is yung point na nandi dito, let's say suppose na dito nagkaroon ng equilibrium established, ang naging condo natin is concentration ng iodine, hydro, hydroionic acid natin is 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay. So paano kaya yan magkaganap? Okay. By which ito ay guys, Take note, ito ay may coefficient na 2. So therefore, this one here is ito ay times 2. Now to calculate for the concentration here, i-divide mo siya by 2. Okay? I-divide mo siya by 2. Okay, yun yung nabawas eh. Yun yung nabawas. Okay. Mamaya, magkaaroon tayo dyan. Mamaya, mind counter natin yung 2. So, ko natin. So ang concentration na originally is 1.87 which then is to negative 3 okay divided by 2 is 9.35 9.35 times 10 raised to negative 4 ito yung nasa system natin ito yung ating tinatawag natin na x may encounter natin yun namin so kung yan yung nabawas sa atin each kasi 2 yan so ito yung mababawas sa atin kasi di ba plus di ba ito ay minus 9.35 times 10 raised to negative 4, then ito ay minus 9.35 times 10 raised to negative 4. So, yung minus natin, yun yung equilibrium concentration nila. Since, di ba, given naman na yung hydroionic acid natin, ito ay 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 3. Now, ano equilibrium concentration ng ating hydrogen and iodine? Okay. Iko na natin dito. I-calculate na natin. Wait lang. Type ko naman, 1.00 times 10 raised to negative 3 raised to negative 3 minus 9.35 times 10 10 is negative 4 is 6.5 6.5 times 10 raised to negative 5 and for the other is 2.0 times 10 raised to negative 3 9.35 times 10 raised to negative 4. That is uh, huh? 1.065. Nasaan na, nasa na yung cursor ko? Nasaan na yun? 1.065 times 10 raised to negative, negative 3. So, okay. Now, di ba? Ang, ano ang equilibrium expression natin dito? Di ba? Kc is equal to product all over reactant. O ulitin ko ulit. Hi squared all over H2 times I2. So, ayan. Now, let's substitute the known values, guys. Ito yung known values is for the concentration of HI, concentration of iodine at equilibrium, and concentration of the H2. Take note, guys, ha? Hindi nyo pwedeng isubstitute agad yung initial concentration natin. Kasi ang tinitignan natin dito is the equilibrium concentration. Okay? Now, kunin na natin dito. Okay? is equals to 1.87 but ganun okay wait lang nakaka-aver yan po ang ating kan ah ah 1.87 times 10 raised to negative 3 all over uh, squared 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 6.5 times 10 raised to negative 5 times 1.065 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay. Now, let's calculate for that result. Ano kaya magiging sagot natin? Wait lang, guys. Ha? I just need to settle. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Now, let's calculate for the values. Uh, pwede nyo siyang ikon sa may ikon ninyo. Calculator ninyo guys. Para mas mapakan natin. The as answer is 50.5. 50.5. Yan daw yung KC ng ating equilibrium concentration for the reaction of hydrogen plus iodine forming at equilibrium with hydroiodic acid. So, ayan yung sagot natin guys. Okay. Now, take a screenshot guys so we can proceed on our next problem. 
Okay, next. Next problem natin dito is, okay, now calculating equilibrium concentrations ng dam. Okay, for the Haber process, okay, Kc, the, uh, ano, Kp, the Kp at 500 degrees Celsius in an equilibrium mixture of three gases at 500 degrees Celsius, the partial pressure of H2 is 0 0.928 that, and that of nitrogen is 0 0.4388. What is the partial pressure of ammonia in this equilibrium? Okay, so an ano kaya yan? So nasa equilibrium process na siya. So therefore, gagawin natin guys is Okay, ano ang una natin gagawin? Is to write the formula. Write the formula. Okay, ito daw yung reaction natin. So Kp is equals to uh, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Okay, magformula muna tayo. Pero I'll explain ko later. Ha? Okay, equals to ammonia. Okay, uh, squared kasi 2, yung coefficient, all over N2 times H2 or hydrogen cube. Now, ang hinahanap dito is yung pressure ng ammonia. Ay, ba't pa ganyan? Okay, so sorry, mali. Na, uh, Kp pala tayo. Okay, ulitin natin. Hindi ko kasi may kwan. So, Kp of ammonia, that is 2 here, all over P of H2 cube times the pressure of the uh, na? of nitrogen here. Okay. Ang Kp daw natin, ito yung Kp, di ba? Is, uh, nasa na siya? Is 1.45 times 10 raised to negative 5. Okay. So, ito yung ano natin. Nang hinanong natin is yung partial pressure ng ammonia. Magkakaroon lang tayo ng derivations dito. As a given naman na, di ba, yung pressure ng hydrogen which is 0 0.928 atm and partial pressure of ammonia ay uh, nitrogen na 0 0.43 atm. Now, we are isolating the pressure of ammonia. So, crisscross multiplication, we will yield a okay uh, 1.45 times 10 raised to negative 5 here times the pressure of hydrogen cube times the pressure of nitrogen squared equals to Ah, uh, ito ay sulat ko na lang dito, pressure of ammonia squared here. Pero a squared pa siya. So how can you remove the square dito? Okay, di ba? Square root both sides, square root both sides here and we will yield a pressure of ammonia para ma-isolate yung only pressure of ammonia. It's equals to square root of the 1.45 here times 10 raised to negative 5 pressure of hydrogen cube times the pressure of nitrogen. Nitrogen here. Ayan. So, again, substitute the known values, which is 1.45. Kanina pa natin sinasulat yan, times 10 raised to negative 5, times the pressure of hydrogen, which is ito, 0 0.928 atm. 0 0.928 atm. Atm cube times the pressure of nitrogen, which is 0 0.432, 0 0.432 atm here. Ah, okay, I forgot it. So square root, okay, again, you don't have to show the step-by-step -step calculation. Directa na natin siya. Okay, tatype ko lang siya sa may calcu. Zero point four three two. The answer is two point twenty three. Ang partial pressure down ng ammonia is two point twenty three times ten raised to negative three atm. So that will be our panatay. So bat kaya gan? Parang may variation si Jones sa akin. Ayan. Dapat atm squared sa atm squared nga dapat. Okay, let's check ko mo na. Uh, just give me a moment to another. Wait lang guys. Ha? Oh, ito mama naman siya. So take a screenshot guys. So we can proceed on our next problem. Next, okay, for our last problem, last problem ba to? Hindi pa. Okay, guys, for our last prob uh, second to the last problem, 
Ito na yung calculating equilibrium concentrations from initial concentrations. So take note na magkaiba sila di ba, sa ICE natin. Okay, ito yung problem natin kanina. A 1.0 liter flask is filled with 1 mole of H2 and 2 mole of iodine at 448 degrees Celsius. The value of equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction ay ito at 448 degrees Celsius is 50.5. What are the equilibrium concentrations of hydrogen, iodine, and hydroionic acid? in moles per liter. So, ano kaya? Okay. Kanin natin. Ayan. So, unang-una, this is a equilibrium concentration of Kc. Kc yan. So, ulat mo na natin yung ating reactions. Reactions dito. Okay. Aha. Reactions of H2. Hindi ko nalagay yung states of matter, ha? equilibrium at 2 h i here now di ba i c e okay i -re remind ko lang yung graph kanina okay I -re remind ko lang and we have the concentration of this here nasa na siya okay ito ito ayan ayan concentrations from initial concentrations okay ah uh, teka lang ha. analyze ko lang yung problem guys uh, just give me a moment Okay, uh, thank you for that moment. Okay, now let's solve. Now dito sa atin, 1 mole, di ba? Ang ating units ng ating, ng ating concentration molarity is moles per liter. So since 1 li liter naman siya, so 1 divided by is 1 and 2 divided by 2 is 2. So our the initial concentration of hydrogen is 1.0 molar. I will drop the unit. Pero sige na, lagay ko na. Ayan. And 2.0 molar. Tapos dito, zero siya. Kasi nga, wala pa naman, di ba? Ah, recall ko lang yung graph kanina. Okay. At equilibrium, okay, since wala dito, ibig sabihin, nadadagdagan yung HI natin. Nadadagdagan siya ng equilibrium. So therefore, we will depict it as 2x. And this one here, kaya siya naman, is minus x, minus x. And take note, guys, kaya siya 2x kasi may coefficient siya 2. Pero pag ito, halimbawa, ay naging 2, ito ay negative 2x. Pero but that's not this. Kasi nga, 1 ang coefficient niya. Ngayon, ang pa natin is 1.0 minus x, ang equilibrium concentration natin. And this one here is 2.0 minus x. This one here is 2x. And isulat natin yung equilibrium expression, Kc, di ba? Product all over reactant. Okay? Uh, Hi squared all over H2 all over I2. And substitute natin yung mga values na to. Okay? 2x squared all over 1.0 minus x times 2.0 minus x. Here. Equals, ano ba yung case natin? Di ba given? 50.5. So, 50.5. Okay. Now, let's solve for x. Okay. So, solve natin yung x natin. Okay, criss-cross multiplication, di ba? Using FOIL method, dito ko tayo ngayon magkaaroon ng step-by-step -step process kasi medyo na ako na ako mag-calculate. Okay, 2x is just a 4. x squared is equals, uh, equals to 50.5 times 1.0 minus x, 2.0 uh, minus x. Dito ngayon papasok yung napag-aralan nyo sa algebra na FOIL method, which is 50. 0.5 is equals to 2. Huwag ko nalalagay yung 0.0. Ah. 2 minus uh, x minus 2x plus x squared. Diba? Coil method. Tama ma ba? Oh, okay. First, minus x minus 2x and then x squared. So, coil method. And then, ito, magkaroon dito. Ito ay ilan to? Negative 3x here. So, 4x times squared is equals to 50.5 times 2 minus 3x plus x squared here. Now, multiply natin isa-isa. That is 4x squared equals uh, 101. Tama ba? Oh, 101. Pero i-calculate natin. Okay. 101. 101. Minus, that is 151.5. Direct actually ko pa rin. Para mas sure, 50.5 times 3 
is 151.5, 51.5 x plus 50.05, 50.05 x squared. Then, i-move natin ito dito. Okay. Ano mangyayari? That is uh, 101, di ba? Uh, 101 minus 151.5 x plus 40. Ah, sige, iskusulat ko na. 50.5 x squared minus 4 x squared equals 0. Okay? Pag minusin natin, okay, 101 minus 151.5x plus 46.5x squared equals 0. Now, let's rearrange the equation, di ba? Quadratic equation, 46.5x squared minus 151.5x plus 101 equals 0. So, how do we solve for x? Dito ngayon papasok yung application ninyo sa quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Ganun, di ko na yata memorize formula nun, guys. Ah. Okay. So, search ko na lang mamaya. Okay. Okay. Where x, diba? Is equals to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Uy. So, so paano kaya yan? Diba, guys? Remind ko lang, this is the a. This one's the b. This one's the c. Diba? As a form of a, x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, tumama kaya yung quadratic equation to. Yung quadratic formula. Oh, tignan nga natin. I am not sure kasi eh. Quadratic formula. Para for confirmation lang naman, guys. Okay, quadratic formula. Oy! Tumama. Okay, sige. So, ganun. Tumama naman. Kahit pa paano. Okay. Okay, now let's solve. Let's substitute here. Then x was to negative b here, uh, negative b, uh, negative 151.5 plus the other side of the one here is negative 151.5 um, uh, squared minus 4 times a, which is 46.5 c, that is 101, okay? all over the 2 times 46.5. Now, let's solve for x. Take note that ito ay nasa positive area pa tayo. Isasolve pa natin yung negative natin. So, ito ay I'll take, uh, give me time to calculate for this. 51.5 plus square root of negative 151.5 squared minus 4 times 46.5, times 101, times 4, times 46.5. Okay, ang sagot natin is, bakit ganun? Ba't siya ay 1.16? 1.61 ang sagot natin. Which is kung titignan natin dito, parang magkakaroon tayo ng variation. Wait lang guys, uh, uh, give me time to uh, natin. Hello guys, okay, thank you for your time waiting. Uh, medyo nagkamali ako dito sa so may part na ito. Kasi yan pala ay nagkamali ako ng input kanina sa aking calculator. So this one here is 2.32. Okay. And take note that this one here is rounded of to ah. Rounded of. Pero napakahawang values niya. Okay. Now, this one is at yung x1. Okay. We all know guys naman na pag minus natin ito, magne-negative yung mga yan. So, ibig sabihin, calculate natin yung x2. What is yung x2 natin? Ito yung, di ba, other side is yung, yung negative naman. Okay. I-calculate natin. Let's calculate guys. Uh -huh. Equals negative point, uh, negative 151.5 minus square root of negative 151.5 squared minus 4 times 46.5 times 101 all over all over 2 times 46.5 here okay 
sinold ko na yan kanina, ang, ang sagot natin is 0.9349. 0 0.9349. Take note guys, ito ay rounded off. Ito ah. So, rounded off. Okay. Rounded off. Ayan. Now, ito yung kukunin nating value kasi kapag minus mo siya sa ating 1.0 minus x, hindi siya magne-negative kasi kukunin natin yung individual values ng h2, i2, and hi. So, ito yung magiging value ng x natin. This one is the value of our x. So, therefore, at equilibrium, Ito na yung mga sagot natin at equilibrium. The concentration of H2 is 1.0, di ba? Minus X. And iodine is 1. Uh, 2 point, tama ba ang sinasabi ko? H2, okay, iodine is 2.0 minus X. And for our HI, HI is uh, 2X. So therefore, ayan, 1.0. Minus 0 0.935 equals 2.0 minus 0 0.935 here. And then 2 times 0 0.935 here is equals to, okay, mag-calculator na lang ako. I think this one here is 0 0.065. Calculate ko nga. Hindi ako sure. So, uh, 0 0.935, 0 0.065. Okay, tama nga. This one here is 1.065 here. And this one here is... 2 times 0 0.935 siya ay 1.87. So, ito yung mga concentrations natin. So, ito yung mga sagots natin here. Yan. I-box na lang. Okay. To prove, guys. Prove natin. Talagang yun talaga ang pan natin. Let's prove it. Let's prove, ah. Okay. Substitute natin itong mga values natin ito sa KC. So, KC, di ba? Concentration of HI squared all over concentration of H2 all over I2 here. Okay, uh, that is, ilan na to? 1.87 squared all over 0 0.065 times 1.065. Napat sagot dito is close to value na 1, uh, 50.05. Tignan natin ang, kung yun nga ang lalabas na sagot. Just to check. Okay, just to check. Ang sagot natin is 50.5. So, lapit, malapit siya sa may sagot natin. Actually, 50.51. Tatanggalin na natin yan. So, therefore, that confirms that the equilibrium concentration of each uh, chemical present or species ay ito. So, ayan. H2 0.065. I2 is 1.065. And HI is 1.87. So, that's for our problem, guys. Take a screenshot na lang muna sa mga to. Okay, photo number one. Screenshot. Photo number two, screenshot. Photo number three, screenshot. And equilibrium, screenshot. Okay. And screenshot. Yeah. So that will be our solution for our sample problem number four. Okay. For our last topic natin sa ating session to, is just a heterogeneous equilibria. Ano ba yung heterogeneous equilibria natin, guys? It's just a... Kuha natin dito. Ayan. Okay. It's just a KC na kung saan hindi natin sinasama yung mga solid natin. Kung mapapansin ninyo, dapat nasa reactant yung ating lead chloride here, lead to chloride, pero siya nasa baba kasi nga siya solid. Hindi kasi sinasabi solid sa ating equilibria. Ito rin dito, at hindi rin sinasama yung liquid. So, for writing the equilibrium expression here this, ito lamang ay CO2 squared all over CO squared. Yun lang, kasi hindi sinasabi solid. Dito, hindi kasama yung water kasi hindi sinasabi liquid. So that's it guys for our lecture. Thank you for listening again and let's uh on natin uh, makita tayo sa part 3 ng ating lecture of our module 4. Thank you guys and I hope you learned something and goodbye.